Hi, I'm Joe with Hilltop Camper here at our Fridley, Minnesota location. And today we're gonna to go over the J-Feather Micro 171BH. I think we're gonna start over here on the front, on the tongue. So as most J-Co's, the 171BH does have the integrated A-frame, power tongue jack, and two 20-pound propane tanks, and a front molded fiberglass cap, a little better aerodynamics, and obviously the look of it just looks a lot nicer. Coming along the side of this, they did, this is the uh, kind of the off-road package. They have a brush guard that goes around the entire trailer and uh, this is not a step, but if you are going in high grass areas, kind of off the grid, um, that helps protect the, the body of the trailer itself. Uh, this particular one is equipped with the outside grill, the Blackstone griddle, they call that the J-Port system. So you have a two inch receiver in here and then a steel plate that the grill sits on that will plug in back here like a standard two inch receiver. You'll have your grill sitting here and then there's an external gas port down there that you'd hook up to, which would run off your two 20 pound propane tanks in the front. A uh, little bit about the construction. Uh, the sidewalls are Jayco's famous vacuum bonding process. Um, the difference on the, the micros is they are all Asdale inside and out. So that's a composite material that does not mold or mildew. It's um, no real wood in there on the Asdell. So it is a lot nicer product. It's also a little lighter. So it costs more to make them that way, but in turn, you get a better product. Uh, next, they do have the Goodyear Wrangler tires with a six year wa limited warranty. And those are off-road to give you that nice look and uh, to help you kind of maneuver through if you are going anywhere off-grid. Torsion axles on these particular ones, again, help with weight. Uh, this is aimed to be a lighter trailer. As always, it is equipped with a 12 volt power awning with the LED strip built in. And uh, Jayco started kind of going back to having the external speakers on the outside sidewall. Those are marine grade speakers. Um, there are screw holes that they're pretty easy if you wanted to upgrade them to something a little bit heavier duty. You know, some people like to have their, their sound a certain way. So you guys want to follow me on inside. Speaking of the weight on this, this guy is about 20 feet long, 4,045 pounds. So SUV towable pretty easily. If you got a half ton truck, you'll have no issues with it at all. So it's nice to have that. Less worry when you don't have something huge and heavy. Uh, Mo ride step above steps, uh, the solid stairs, they fold right into the trailer. Um, and then they also help too from making the ship rock every time you, somebody goes in and out. So come on in, let's take a look inside. Walking inside here, this particular model, there is two different options for color. This is uh, equipped with the vintage wash gray. Um, Jayco does a very good job contrasting the cabinetries and inside and out from the living room area to the bathroom. So you do have brown cabinets here and then the vintage wash gray cabinets here. Um, you do have a fixed bed and like most Jayco's, everything's constructed with plywood. So you do have plywood underneath the bed, real plywood basins on the dinette and bunk beds as well, which we'll get to here in a little bit. Underneath the bed, you do, we have utilized all this different space. So you have some storage compartments here, which are nice material, nice heavy uh, plywood box, um, which can also double for a little bit of an ottoman if you wanted to kind of lean back on the bed. And both these sides do pull out here. And then you can secure them with the strap for transit. There's an easy clip there. The new sink fixtures this year are the, the black color and you got a little bit of tile backsplash here to make it look nice and pop out at you. Dinette as normal, storage underneath with actual cabinet doors to access. You can also pull up the plywood to access through the top if something gets buried in the back. Um, drop down table, which makes into a smaller bed for kids. Coming through the kitchen, we have the Furion three burner cooktop with the fancy LEDs on the knobs and the glass backsplash slash counter saver. And in the back here, you can see these slots. A lot of people ask, those are actually knife holders. Uh, storage underneath the stove. Again, Jayco plywood. Um, these are all, all the cabinetry is hardwood glued and screwed. Lots of storage. You throw some pots and pans down here. And moving up to the fridge, this particular one is equipped with the 12 volt, eight cubic foot fridge. So these are a lot deeper, uh, mainly because you don't have all the guts like you would on a two-way gas electric, the fins that are in the back. So these do give you a lot more space, only using the same amount of space that a six cubic foot uh, gas electric would. Uh, moving over to the bunk beds, 
again, talking with Jayco, we have thicker foam mattress pads, uh, plywood basins on both the bunk beds. So these are single bunks, so they're rated at 300 pounds per. And then down below, you do have storage with a cargo net, so you don't have to worry about your stuff sliding out and tumbling all over when you're driving down the road. Um, this one does have the Furion air conditioner. It is a 14,500 BTU air conditioner. Um, it's just a direct air being the size of this particular trailer. They, you don't really need to have it ducted. This will cool her down in here pretty quick. And also they do put the 12 volt max air fan in the roof up here too, which will help pull that cold air or your hot air from your furnace down below around the unit. And then moving into the bathroom, again on the contrast, being that this is vintage wash gray color scheme, um, you have the modern farmhouse white color in the bathroom. In a smaller trailer, the white cabinetry in the bathroom does open this space up, makes it feel a lot bigger. And then again, the the, the black handles and faucets, I think really help it pop too. So foot flush on the toilet, and you do have another smaller 12 volt fan in the bathroom, um, along with a towel holder and some hooks for other towels or your clothes. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped answer some questions for you. If you have any additional questions, again, my name's Joe in the Fridley Hilltop location. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.